What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today I will be doing a number of benchmarking and speed tests to compare the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and the iPhone 5C. Yesterday I unboxed both the 5S and the 5C on my channel, so if you haven't already checked that out, I recommend doing so. But before I get into any reviews of these devices, or reviews of accessories for that matter, I'm going to test out the actual performance of the phones. Here we have the iPhone 5 on the left, the 5S in the middle, and the 5C on the right, and I'm going to go through the tests that will be done in this video. The first test will be Geekbench 3, and that will test the power of the processor as well as the memory, or RAM. Second, I'll run a graphics test using 3DMark. The third test will be SunSpider, which runs in browser and will test JavaScript, the speed of web pages, and the speed of the browser. And the final test will be SpeedTest.net, which tests the speed of the cellular data connection. I'm going to go ahead and open up Geekbench 3 on all these devices, but before we start the test, let's just take a quick look at the specs. All the way on the left, we have the iPhone 5, which runs an Apple A6 processor clocked at 1.3 GHz and has 1,016 MB of RAM. In the middle, we have the 5S, which runs an ARM or Apple A7 processor, also clocked at 1.3 GHz, but this has a 64-bit chip rather than a 32-bit chip, and also has 1,000 MB of RAM. And then all the way on the right, we have the iPhone 5C, which runs an ARM or Apple A6 processor, clocked at 1.25 GHz and has 1,016 MB of RAM. Now I'm going to start these tests roughly at the same time. It doesn't really matter what time it starts at. They're not competing with each other in time. It's going to give us a score readout at the end. We're going to be taking a look at the multi-core readout since these are all dual-core phones. As you can see, the 5S in the middle blew away the iPhone 5 and the 5C with a score of 2,564. And on the left and the right in the 5 and the 5C, we can see they have roughly the same scores, not too much of a difference there. Now it's time for the graphics test, so let's load up 3D Mark. I'm first going to run the Ice Storm Unlimited test, which is an off-screen benchmarking test, which will give us a score at the end. Complete domination in this test by the 5S, with the score well over 13,000, and the 5 and the 5C scored about the same in the mid to high 5,000 range. I know to a lot of you that number doesn't mean anything, so I ran the Ice Storm Extreme test, which is an on-screen test, and will show you exactly how smooth the graphics run and how everything looks. This test takes over 5 minutes, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing, I just want you to get the basic idea of it. The 5S starts way before the 5 and the 5C, and the graphics run very smoothly on it. The 5C and the 5 start at roughly the same time, but they both have a noticeable amount of lag and stutter. The level of detail looks identical on all three of these devices, as they all have the same display. However, the graphics look a lot better on the iPhone 5S, because it runs a lot smoother. I'll let you watch for a few more seconds before we move on to the next test. Now I'm going to open up SunSpider on the iPhone 5. I'm going to run all three of these tests separately because I don't want them interfering with each other since they have to connect to the internet. You're not going to see much going on while you're running the test, but we're more interested in the score we get at the end. If you look closely up at the top, you can see this scored 698.1 milliseconds, and the lower score the better. Then I ran the same test on the iPhone 5S, and it scored 396.3 milliseconds, way further down there than the iPhone 5, a much better score. And lastly, I ran the test on the iPhone 5C, and it scored 712.3 milliseconds, the worst score of the three phones. The last test I'm doing is speed test, which tests the LTE connection, and it's going to give us a reading for the download and upload speeds in megabytes per second. All three phones scored pretty much about the same, however, there was a little bit of a drop-off in the iPhone 5C in the download speeds, and I'm not sure what that's due to, but it could be the material of the phone that the reception's not getting through the plastic as well, or that they're using a different antenna on the inside. All of these phones got really acceptable scores during the test. The iPhone 5 and the 5C are still pretty powerful phones, and they got extremely similar results. So if you already have an iPhone 5, it is definitely not worth it to upgrade to the 5C. The iPhone 5S, in terms of scores, blew away the iPhone 5 and the 5C during these tests. 
However, it's not going to make a difference too much in everyday tasks. You're not going to notice a difference that much in terms of processing power using the iPhone 5S versus the 5C or the iPhone 5. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future iPhone 5C or 5S content. Also, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Let me know if you picked up one of these new phones. And also, if you have any video ideas or would like to see anything regarding these phones, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.